Our Cold War countdown continues with one of America's first combat jets. It's the best U.S. fighter of the Korean War, the F-86 Sabre. Sleek and deadly, the Sabre is the first U.S. combat-ready fighter to break the sound barrier. These airplanes uh, were really the gold standard of their time. Yet in 1950, U.S. military leaders hesitate to send them to Korea, even though the Soviets are secretly backing the war. The Korean War broke out largely because the United States and Soviet Union could not afford to engage each other in direct combat. And so they began to use proxies, other nations to essentially uh, push their ideas and to test the limits of their power. In June 1950, the Soviets aid North Korea's invasion of the South and provide its top frontline fighter, the MiG-15. An international coalition led by the U.S. jumps to the South's defense. The Allies are stunned when the MiGs, often piloted by Russians, down their bombers at alarming rates. To escort the B-29s, the U.S. rushes the F-86 into the fray. This is the North American F-86 Sabre, the premier fighter in the skies over Korea. Its speed was based on a combination of a powerful axial flow jet engine and a unique and innovative swept wing design, allowing the aircraft to fly at speeds exceeding 650 miles an hour. The Sabre's not just fast, it's agile. The F-86 could snap back and get behind a MiG-15 in the blink of an eye. With a MiG in its sights, the Sabre can unleash awesome firepower. You have six guns shooting, it would shoot 125 50 caliber rounds in one second. It's truly incredible. In December 1950, Lieutenant Colonel Bruce Hinton lands the assignment to lead the first Sabres into combat. Hinton's flight is high above the bomber force when the number two spots MiG-15s below. The Sabres peel off in pursuit. Hinton sneaks up behind a MiG and opens fire. His bullets strafe the wing and fuel trails out. But the tough MiG-15 keeps flying. Hinton's get, trying to pull right up behind this guy and get very close to him and hammer him. With two long bursts, Hinton finally lands 1,500 rounds on the MiG's tail. It bursts into flames. The first Sabre victory of the war. The F-86, in the hands of a skilled fighter pilot, was the deadliest fighter of its time. 